Wiring configuration for your DSi 600 elevator smoke containment system. All the electrical components and wiring for the DSi 600 can be mounted and run above the finished ceiling grid. It is recommended to have access to each of the curtain motor components with an 18 inch by 18 inch ceiling access panel as supplied and installed by others. The motor control circuit or MCC is mounted above the ceiling next to the head box. 24 volt power from the group control panel or GCP will be run to the MCC and then directly into the smoke curtain head box and then out of the MCC and into the next MCC and head box. After the 24 volt power has run to the last MCC, the wiring returns to the GCP to complete the 24 volt power loop ring circuit. Let's look at this in further detail. The GCP is to be located in the close proximity of the first elevator smoke curtain. Mounting the GCP somewhere with easy access, such as an electrical closet or control room, works best. The GCP is supplied and mounted by door systems. It comes complete with a battery backup system and a test key switch. The GCP requires 110 volt power with a 20 amp dedicated circuit and a disconnect located next to the GCP. The power and disconnect are to be supplied and installed by others. The fire alarm circuit, supplied and installed by others, is to be connected into the GCP. Four 12 gauge color coded wires supplied and installed by others are to be run from the GCP to the first MCC. The wires and wiring from the MCC to the head box on all curtains, as indicated in red, are to be supplied and installed by door systems. The contractor will continue running the four 12-gauge wires from the first MCC onto the second MCC and so on, until all the MCCs have been provided with wire. The contractor will then run the four 12-gauge wires back to the GCP from the last MCC to complete the ring loop circuit. One GCP can run up to five curtains as long as the complete length of the ring loop circuit is 250 feet or less. Other elevator configurations. The same wiring configuration applies to a single elevator cab running multiple stories. The GCP is mounted near the first elevator smoke curtain and the four-wire, 12-gauge loop ring circuit is run from the GCP to the first MCC and then up through the floor to the next MCC and so on, up to five curtains, and then back down to the GCP. The low-voltage wire loop ring circuit is supplied and installed by others. The wire loop circuit consists of four 12-gauge wires. Color-coded wires run from the GCP location to each of the MCC coil box locations and back to the GCP locations. Allow six feet of extra wire at each location for door systems to complete the final connections. Higher gauge loop wire will not be acceptable and will void the manufacturer's warranty. The maximum distance of the entire 24 volt wire loop ring circuit shall not exceed 250 feet in total wire length. The 110 volt power and disconnect are supplied and installed by others. The power must be on a 20 amp dedicated circuit. Supply and mounting of the GCP and the MCC is by door systems. All final connections and commissioning are to be done by door systems. All wiring, including the complete wire loop ring circuit, the fire alarm circuit, the 110 volt power, and the disconnect switch must be installed prior to door systems installing the elevator smoke containment systems curtains.